I led them with cords of kindness, with the bands of love, and I became to them as one who eases the yoke on their jaws, and I bent down to them and fed them. Shemuel Aleph, Chapter 1 And there was a certain man of Ramathaim Tophim, of the mountains of Ephraim, and his name was Elkanah, son of Yerocham, son of Elihu, son of Tohu, son of Tzuf, an Ephraimite. And he had two wives. The name of one was Hana, and the name of the other Penina. And Penina had children, but Hana had no children. Now this man went up from his city year by year to worship, and to slaughter to Yahweh of hosts in Shiloh. And the two sons of Eli, Chofni and Pinchas, the priests of Yahweh, were there. And when the day came for Elkanah to make a slaughtering, he gave portions to Penina his wife, and to all her sons and daughters. But, although he loved Hana, he gave only one portion to Hana, because Yahweh had shut up her womb. Moreover, her rival also provoked her greatly, to make her irritable, because Yahweh had shut up her womb. And so he did, year by year. Whenever she went up to the house of Yahweh, she was provoked, so that she wept and did not eat. And her husband Elkanah said to her, Hana, why do you weep? Why do you not eat? And why is your heart sad? Am I not better to you than ten sons? And Hana rose up after eating and drinking in Shiloh, while Eli the priest was sitting on the seat by the doorpost of the Hechal of Yahweh. And she was bitter in life, and prayed to Yahweh, and wept greatly. And she made a vow, and said, O Yahweh of hosts, if you would indeed look on the affliction of your female servant, and remember me, and not forget your female servant, but shall give your female servant a male child, then I shall give him to Yahweh all the days of his life, and let no razor come upon his head. And it came to be, as she kept on praying before Yahweh, that Eli was watching her mouth, and Hana spoke in her heart, only her lips moved, but her voice was not heard, so Eli thought she was drunk. Then Eli said to her, How long are you going to be drunk? Put your wine away from you. And Hana answered and said, No, my master, I am a woman pained in spirit and I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink, but have poured out my being before Yahweh. Do not take your female servant for a daughter of Belial, for it is out of my great concern and provocation that I have spoken until now. And Eli answered and said, Go in peace, and the Elohim of Israel give you your petition, which you have asked of him. And she said, Let your female servant find favor in your eyes. And the woman went her way and ate, and her face was no more sad. And they rose up early in the morning, and worshipped before Yahweh, and returned and came to their house at Ramah. And Elkanah knew Hannah his wife, and Yahweh remembered her. And it came to be at the turn of days that Hannah conceived and bore a son, and called his name Shemuel, because I have asked Yahweh for him. And the man Elkanah and all his house went up to slaughter to Yahweh the yearly slaughtering and his vow. But Hannah did not go up, for she said to her husband, when the child is weaned, then I shall take him, and he shall appear before Yahweh and remain for ever there. And her husband Elkanah said to her, Do what is good in your eyes, remain until you have weaned him, only let Yahweh establish his word. And the woman remained and nursed her son until she had weaned him. And when she had weaned him, she took him up with her, with three bulls, and one ephah of flour and a skin of wine, and brought him to the house of Yahweh in Shiloh. And the child was young. And they slew a bull, and brought the child to Eli. And she said, O oh my master, as your being lives, my master, I am the woman who stood by you here praying to Yahweh. I prayed for this youth, and Yahweh has granted me what I asked of him. So I have also loaned him to Yahweh. All the days that he lives, he shall be loaned to Yahweh. And he worshipped there before Yahweh.